right? The jibaro is sort of the poor white, right, or Spanish, um, simple farm peasant who works the land, right? I think that comes up in the second, in our second article more so, in the four-story. And that idea, that idea of the jibaro um, as being sort of the simple-minded peasant who works the land remains as an important idea in Puerto Rican culture and, and Puerto Rican identity for a very long time to, to present still, right? This idea of the jibaro and jibaro music and what all of that means um, is very important. Again, interesting that that jibaro is still a white, the, so the African is still left out of this, is, of this idea of national identity, even though, as we've already pointed out, um, a lot of popular culture was really influenced by the um, African cultures that, were, that came to the island. Examples, any examples of that? Can you think of any examples that you may know of? Mm -hmm. They talked about the food, like the platanos mm -hmm. and um, something else. Oh, okay. <coughs> Indeed, and the forecast. <laughs> 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 Mofongo, I know. We should go out. We should actually go out from. But also the dress, because they were saying the, the, the farmer mm -hmm. on the island had to dress uh, comfortably and cool and also might not afford the clothes <coughs> that the elite was wearing. So they also adopted or adapted to the clothing, to the dress of the African worker. Okay. And what about dance? And music, right? Yeah. So, so certainly there is all that influence, but then again, the picture is not the African. The picture that you have of national identity, if you have um, something that is a symbol of national identity, because this is how national identities are constructed through symbols, it's the white jibaro, right? First the Indian, in the first article we see it's the Indian, in the second article we see it's the jibaro, who's white. So then again, the African is, um, is still sort of behind the scenes, not brought up as, uh, the, its significance is not recognized in, in the culture. So, um, so what is, uh, so what is, any other comments on these two articles? Some confused even, uh, they, uh, they explain that it's a culture that draws from the African, but also from the European, right? Mm -hmm. Who? The Hibaro. Yeah, but the Hibaro himself, so, so when we think about, about symbols of national identity, I mean, let's think about, and maybe it would be easier to think about symbols of national identity in the U.S. context. What are some? What, of, what are our symbols in the U.S. of national identity? What do we think of as being American? Okay. Uncle Sam is a tax guy, though, right? No, but, but, but historically, I'm sorry, historically, he actually is the symbol of American freedom and liberty. Okay. Because he actually was a real person whose name was Sam something or other, and he shipped wheat. Okay. And his symbol on the boxes when he would export them was U.S., which also stood for the United States, but also stood for his name. Uh huh. So he became like the symbol. Uncle of, Sam. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so he is certainly a symbol of, of America.